Hey everybody, Dirk here. Welcome once again to the Dungeon Laboratory. Um, <laughs> got a bit sidetracked here because uh, the Magnetist uh, posted a really awesome video of uh, getting a different version of those uh, those high frequency um, solid state Tesla coils going, and it it, it kind of uh, um, you know encouraged me to uh, pursue it again. Uh, I I had something similar built uh, to this, and I could only run it on twelve volts. This this is the coil that I was using. Um, Oh, I forgot that. Excuse me. Sorry. Yes. Auto turn off. Um, this is the coil that I had before, and I thought this was a lot higher in frequency. I guess it isn't, uh, but it still works because uh, he used uh, various coils. Uh, he was saying between two, two and eight megahertz uh, seems to work for this particular setup. Because what I'm thinking is looking at the circuit diagram, there's a there's a feedback coil. This is the top one right here. The bottom one is like a one one to two turn. I think I have two turns on here. Um, so this is a feedback coil that's up here, going back over, and it goes um, through some capacitors onto the gate, and, which is then then the gate is then coupled over to um, over to ground. I'm just looking at the circuit diagram back there. Um, Thankful that he had the uh, the diagram on, on his um, on his video because the person who originally had it uh, Tesla Unmea, um his website is down now so basically yeah all the uh, circuit diagrams are gone unfortunately um, yeah anyway it seems to work pretty good uh, I had this built before can only run it on 12 volts if I ran it any higher than 12 volts it would uh, it it instantly kill the MOSFET. So now I can run this on 24 volts, uh, just testing everything out here, and uh, it work, works perfectly fine. The Zener diode that I'm using is actually that big cylinder thing there. That's a 12, like a 12 watt, uh, 6 point, 6 6.2 volt Zener diode, huge honking thing right there. My my typical style using the uh, the connectors. Well, not I, I didn't originally do it, but uh, you know, it's like it's the way I kind of like to build things like that. You can just build everything off of there. Everything else is pretty much standard to to the circuit. Um, might be a couple of variations here and there, but hey, you know it works. And this runs about two point five megahertz. So I'm gonna. Uh, that's why I got the uh, the um, my frequency counter there. I'll turn it on. I do have to coax the uh, uh, the breakout to come out. It's not, it's not crazy, um, but it's it's pretty good. For what it is. Uh, two point four. There we go. I got to get a big, bitter, uh, bleh, bigger heat sink. That works pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, it's not too bad. I still got to, you know, mess around with the, uh, primary and whatnot. I'm just going to turn this off briefly because I just want to check the, uh, it's a really tiny heat sink in the, and it's, it's, it's warm. It's basically going to have to play what, what, what Magnetist was saying. And I'm pretty sure this, uh, this is true. Um, you kind of get this, get this just right where it's supposed to be. This seems pretty good. I mean, this is obviously not the, uh, correct. This, this is running at a different frequency than, than this would. Um, obviously it's, it's coupling some feedback from this coil to go into the circuit, but I don't think this is, um, you know, using the components that this isn't correct. I might try this coil next to see if it would work. Might, might be higher, way higher up in the frequency range. I don't know. <laughs> we'll give it a shot. I'll try it out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. You know, crank it on again. Unfortunately, I can't, the brake head doesn't just come out on its own. Kind of got to coax it out. Yeah, that's not. There's, there's, ooh, there's definitely some power coming out of there. Oh, <laughs> I just got it soldered on there. So, yeah, not bad. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. So I figured I'd get that going on there. I might, I might mess around with this a little bit more here. And it's starting. It's already starting to get late. What time is it? Yeah, it's already seven thirty. Shit. I've been dicking around this uh, with this for for a couple hours now. I'm just building up the circuit. I'll, I'll try it another coil. 
But hey, at least it works past 12 volts. That makes me happy. That is encouraging. Um, you could try increasing the gate voltage. I do have a 10 volt zener. I think the magnetist, I think you said to use a 10 volt zener. I could put a big, I, I have a, another version. Uh, these are, uh, they're, they're ZX zener diodes. So this is a ZX 6.2. I got another one on the board down here. You can see it a little bit better. This one right here. Come on. You got decent focus. Oh, gosh. Wow. You can see it anyway. So that's a uh, ZX10. So I can... Oh, there it goes. Now oh, it's a focus. Yeah. ZX10. I don't think you can see it. Oh, there you go. It's kind of why I do like using the... Oh, no, it's not going to focus. Come on! It focuses when it wants to. Oh, you're a whore. Well, believe me, it's a ZX10 from ITT. Those are like super, yeah, like I said, 10, I think they're like 12 watt Zener diodes, like big beefy things. So I just wanted to throw that on there for fun. <laughs> just in case, is a, I did have some like 6.2 Zener diodes, but I think they're like quarter watt or something like that. And I, eh. I like to stick in at least in a, a watt range or, or a little bit more with these particular circuits. Hey, it works. Yay. Hey, there it goes. It went on its own. How about that? I actually haven't pulled. Oh, yeah. Uh, the the um, uh, it goes up to like three megahertz when I'm pulling uh, arcs off of there. That's kind of interesting. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. So that that's pretty fun. Um, yeah. Uh, um, tell you what, I'll I'll do I'll do a video on the other camera because it's a little easier for me to um put links in the description and I'll I'll, I'll put a link to a. The magnetist, um, his video that has the uh, the circuit diagram for this. That way you can see it. His works a lot better <laughs> than mine does. But uh, like I said, I got to play around with this some more. At least it works. Right? That's that's pretty killer. So I got this, and I got that guy over there. And I'm um, thinking about doing since I got some some MOSFETs in uh, today. I might get to do a stress test on there and, and see how much voltage I can put into that thing. Uh, it pulls about five amps from the Variac. So that's only an 8 amp variac. So either the fuse goes or that MOSFET's going to blow. Mm, might be interesting. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, cheers, guys.